no, no interest at all. We are starting off our morning nice and early. Um, it's really bad. She loves the TV. I'm like, I can't seem to get her to be happy any other way apart from putting TV on. But yeah, I think we're just going to have a slow morning this morning. This is what she not drinking and bottle properly this morning. I will take Dan up to his cup of tea. Excuse me. And then I think I'll come down and try and finish off giving her a bottle. I think she needs a bit of medicine as well. Her teeth are zattered, you know. Oh better? Oh better. Um, I think there was like six ounces left in it, so she only had an ounce. Um, and we don't do naps, um, we really should, but we don't have morning naps or afternoon naps. But I'm gonna try and get her to settle down for at least an hour, hopefully, come 10 o'clock. So it's half nine now. Um, I'm just gonna sit and cuddle her for half hour, then leave her sleep for an hour. And if she wakes up, just leave her and then I'll deal with that situation at 11. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna try a nap. How do you feel about that? That is hopefully my baby down for a nap. Now I can enjoy my nice cold cup of tea. And yeah, I think we're gonna head into town in a bit. Is that a nice bottle? Are you so cute? down to work and uh, we got a bit of lunch and did what we needed to do. I've now got to drive all the way into a different town because Lily's drinking the comfort milk, uh, the Karen Gay comfort milk and there wasn't any in town so I need to try and drive elsewhere to find it because I don't really want to put her back on normal milk because she is just so comfortable on the comfort milk. Um, but she's sleeping right now so we're pretty pretty happy baby um, but yeah it was really nice to have lunch with Dan before we um, before he started work and we don't do it often so we'll do it next <laughs> So I'm going to quickly try and say what I need to say before I head home. Um, I said that I was coming into a different town to get my milk, which I have, and I've done it. I've got what I needed. Yeah, they basically just said to go into my boot store and order it that way. And um, yeah, just ask them to order it in and 
that it will be there for me. Um, it's £1.50 cheaper than what I brought it for in town last time, which I'm gobsmacked at. It might have been a really bad idea to come here because I've now just spent in Poundland. Not a, um, not a massive amount, but you know, I've got a newborn baby. I do not need to be, be spending money at all. Um, but I'll probably do a little mini Poundland haul. I'm back from my adventure now to go and get Lily some comfort cow and gate milk. Um, I've still got my list of things I need to conquer through and um, I still need to go shopping. Like I was out shopping for comfort milk but I completely forgot to pick up what I needed. Um, so I think I'm probably... Dan finishes work at 10, all the shops close at 10. So I'll probably just leave to pick Dan up a bit earlier and grab it all then rather than going out like a billion times. Uh, there's a little bit of tidying I need to do and I did make a list of things that I wanted to do as well today like strip beds and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to crack on with them but first I'm going to heat up Lily a bottle and then feed her. At the beginning of the vlog I opened up these blinds and it looked really nice out. And as the day has gone on it's just progressively got worse and worse and worse and like I don't know it makes me really sad I hate it when it does that. to get a bit of battery on this camera I was gonna film it and my camera just completely died um, but yeah here's my mini power hand haul so this will make sense in a bit but I picked up wrapping paper um, I always pick up the cheapest wrapping paper I can find because it just gets ripped no one saves it and like it's so expensive and I'm not very good at wrapping anyway so I thought just get the cheapest wrapping paper because it's only going to get ripped and thrown away anyway so it was three for a pound so I picked up six of these um, and I'm hoping it's going to be enough to do all my Christmas presents this year. Um, I've already bought one of Lily's Christmas presents um, a few months ago I saw it on Amazon it was it was reduced and there was offers on it and um, I thought it was an absolute steal I think it's going to be a bit too um, advanced for her to use at the moment but um, I don't know, what do you get a baby when they're six months? I'm trying to make a list and like put things in my Amazon basket that I think will be good. But like at six months, you buy toys and stuff that you just they'll just grow out of so quickly. And I don't really I don't want to be wasteful at all. So I'm trying to be really quite smart about what I buy here. You can see it's not a big pound at all because I've got the cheap baggy bags. Um, it will fit in one of them, which is good. I picked up, I don't know if you can hear me, uh, I picked up the Zoflora in bouquet 
I've already used them. I love this stuff. It's all antibacterial. It's so clean. It's so good to use for everything. It just gets rid of germs and nasty things. And it smells really lovely. I've just got a cheap and cheerful uh, bottle brush. I've already got one. I've got a Tommy Tiffany one, but it doesn't work very well in the bottles I've got uh, because they are such a funny shape. Um, and I love the Tommy Tippy one for the Tommy Tippy bottles. So I just picked up this one and hope that it will do me a bit of good. If you look inside, it's also got the little teeth brush, which I think is really cool. I picked up these in the little clothing, but it's just three baby short sleeve bodysuits. These are in zero to three months because Lily is going to start going into the bigger sizes. So I need more bodysuits because I don't have many of them. I picked up a pack of envelopes because um, just yesterday I needed an envelope and I didn't have one other. Um, I like it's the sort of thing you never think to have and keep in your house. Um, so I picked them up because they're only equipped and there's like 85 envelopes in there, so I can't see me running out anytime soon. Also picked up a really cheap pack of pens because we constantly lose pens. Dan uses pens for work. Um, to make a list, I'm always rummaging for about 20 minutes to try and find a pen from somewhere. So I just picked up this pack, it's got 32 pens in, um, so I'll probably lose them in a week, but there's 32 of them. I picked up this photo frame, um, which will make more sense soon, but in my hallway, I want to put like a little sign saying, take your shoes off, um, because I don't want people walking through my house with their dirty shoes on, on my nice brand new carpet. So I want to put this by the front door, uh, with a little funny saying or something that I find online. And then the last thing I got were just these books. They're all level one books, um, which are really nice. These are going to be part of, a, these are a Christmas present for Lily. I wanted to pick her up some books. Ooh, this one's a bit more advanced. When um, Lily starts going into a, her own room, I want to read to her every night. Um, so yeah, it's got the Ugly Duckling, Little Creatures with Peppa Pig on, uh, Cinderella, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Recycling Fun, and obviously the Rapunzel one, so they're going to be a Christmas present. Um, I've started my Christmas shopping ridiculously early, um, but it's so expensive. Christmas comes around so bloody quickly, and like if you leave everything really last minute, you find yourself like, what do I do? I haven't got any money stuff like that so I've started picking stuff up already so that's gonna be the end of my vlog today I hope you've enjoyed it it's like my first vlog is been really weird filming it to be fair um, I really want to get more into them though and kind of document Lily growing up so that's that's what my big hope is um, I've now got to sort all this stuff out that I've just showed you uh, if you've enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel I post mummy stuff lifestyle stuff I've also got type 1 diabetes so I'm hoping to film a few uh, diabetes related videos if you're interested in them. Yeah, that's my channel so I hope you enjoy and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!